So here's a relatively simple division problem. You have a decimal number. I think it's important to appreciate that the answer you're going to get up here is going to be something less than 1 because you can look at this division problem as a fraction. If you rewrite it as a fraction, it's 0 0.01 over 5. And, well, we don't really don't like to keep decimals in fractions. So let's get rid of the decimal by multiplying the fraction by 1. In this case, 100 over 100. So we're moving the decimal two places over to get rid of the, um, the decimal number. So we have 1 over 500. And the point is, you can appreciate again, as I mentioned earlier in, in the semester, that if, if you have a smaller number in the numerator relative to the denominator, the value of the fraction, or the answer to the division, is going to be a number less than 1. It's going to be a decimal, num a decimal number itself. So if you could begin to see that, you know that your answer up here, your final answer, is going to be some decimal number, positive decimal number. So the next question is, how does one proceed with something like this? It, it doesn't look or feel comfortable or doable. How would you multiply a number by 5 to get 0 0.01? How does that, where does your mind begin to think? Well, there are many approaches, but one approach would be to look at the 0 0.01 um, as a number actually that's larger than 5. And that might seem weird, but try this out. So I put a 0 after the 1 and make it a 10. Now if I think of what number can I multiply by 5 to get 10, that's a start. And one would say, well, if you multiply 2 by 5, I'll get 10. Well, off to the side you'll do some calculations, but we know that 2, um, two is not the answer. It has to be something less than 1. But it's a start. You can see that you're, you're getting the number to look like what you need. If I multiply 5 by 0.2, I'll get 1. Well, we're getting closer. I multiply 5 by 0 0.02, I'll get 0.1. Okay, let's go one more. If I multiply 5 by 0.002, I'm going to get 0 0.01. Okay, well, I think I got it, because there's what I need. So to check, multiply 0 0.002 by 5, and the way we've done it in class, and you'll see you'll get 0 0.01. Well, again, how does that work? Well, let's check. Multiply 2 times 5, which is 10, and then shift the decimal three places to the left, because this decimal here is three places. So um, 1, 2, so 1, 2, and then add another 0 there, and we'll get 3 and there's the point zero 0.01. Another approach to this problem, and in general division problems with a decimal, is to get rid of the decimal entirely. Remember we saw earlier in the video, we can multiply the fraction of the division problem by 1, or really 100 over 100, and that will get rid of the decimal and make the fraction 1 over 500. We can rewrite that as a long division problem and go about it the same way. We'll look at the 1 as a 1,000 for a moment just to get us started. Okay, 500 times 2 will get me a 1,000. But 2 is not the answer because we agreed that the answer has to be less than 1. Well, then let's multiply 500 by point. Well, that will give me 100. Remember, we have to get to 1. Well, that's not going to cut it. Let me multiply 500 by 0 0.02. Will that give me 10? Getting closer, multiply 500 by 0 0.002. Well, that will give me 1. And you get the same answer.